as you can see, we've got a Virtual Boy here. Um, I really love this machine. Uh, I'm a big fan of anything uh, virtual reality related. Uh, I've been an early adopter, and I mean, this thing is just awesome. Um, just, yeah, just look at that. It's, it's very 90s stylish. Really, really like this thing. Um, anyway, this was sent to me by someone who said that one of the eyes in the, the Virtual Boy machine itself was uh, shown some scan line problems and, and that actually is a very common problem with these things. Um, what happens is one of the attachments that sits on the side of this is a ribbon cable and Nintendo back then decided to glue that instead of actually solder that onto the board which over time causes that to let go and it it starts off as having scan lines uh, or actually I've seen some of the eye units one of them stops working at all or both of them even though you can hear audio so um, I'm gonna turn this thing on I've got got a game in here which is is the golf game it's Mario Golf I believe um, I'm gonna run that and then I'll try and get the camera aligned so that you can see what's going on. All right, so that's the left eye. It's a bit difficult to showcase this. Um, that seems fine. If you look at the other eye, uh, let me try and get it to focus on that. Hold on, I'm gonna have to try and refocus that. Focus, yes. And if we look at that, you can see the, the red dotted lines uh, going horizontally and that's yeah that's the uh, ribbon connection I was talking about earlier that's given problems so um, I'm gonna take this out take this apart open up get those ribbon cables out and we'll show you how to get that sorted so I got the, the bottom part of it off which is all secured by uh, Nintendo security bits uh, use a proper long screwdriver for that because there are some of them that are quite down uh, to reach so uh, the next thing we want to do is we're going to take a look at these ribbon connectors here uh, in order to access those uh, you can take this off which holds the audio piece and it slides right out uh, you can access these screws which are I believe Phillips head yep regular Phillips head screws and you can see the the problem area now this is glued, this part, so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to take these out, cover this in some captain tape, uh, and then have this re-soldered so it's a secure connection from the board to the cable. And that's all, the, all there is to it. Um, let me take this apart, I'll get this out, and I'll show you guys how that looks. So we got that one out, um, I'm going to cover this with some some heat resisting uh, captain tape which is this stuff um, what you want to be careful of is the bottom side of this thing now this is the laser sensor unit and when you're soldering on this end of the board whenever you use flux or whatever you don't want it to get underneath this because they'll they'll mess it up um, so I'm going to be doing these one by one uh, and after each that I've done I'm going to reinstall it and temporarily have the shell put back together and, and see if it fixed it. Um, I'm going to do it for both of them at the same time while the other one doesn't actually show any issues yet because this one is uh, that's a good indication that it, it will be coming and this actually goes for all of the virtual boys. This is a problem that's going to be coming um, so yeah if you have the skills yourself I would totally advise doing this as a preventive measure just so that your virtual boy can go for another I don't know how many years um, it's just a good thing to do so I'm going to apply some tape solder this up and I'll show you guys how it looks afterwards so I've soldered up one of the two connectors, uh, it's this one, and I'm just going to show the, com the comparison between both of them, and oh, 
Hold on. It's really difficult trying to do this on, on camera. Um, that's the original. And this is the one that I've soldered up. So this is the one that's given you problems due to the, um, the glue used by Nintendo. And this is the one that's reinforced with solder. Now the bit of stuff that you see in between, that's actually the plastic that's burned up and that tried everything with the continuity meter and it's, it's all fine. That's not gonna give any problems. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. I'm gonna reinstall it into the um, uh, the Virtual Boy head mount, and I'll show you the results of that. So I've partially reassembled it. I have done both sides to the ribbon connector. Um, I left the Kapton tape in here just to secure this cable a bit more because it was a bit more fragile. It was flexing, and some of the points weren't making proper contact. So I put some of that. I left the captain tape on there, or actually I didn't leave it, I put a new piece on there just for security. Um, and I am going to turn this on now. Let me turn on the volume so you can hear what's going on. Let's see, can we make that work? And I'm going to try and get you, that says Virtual Boy, I need to continue some more screens. I think it's this one. Let me try and get more focus on that. Anyway, this seems to be working. Or I actually know it's working, but so that's the left screen, and here we have the right screen. And if you compare that to the previous one. This one no longer has the red scan lines coming through it. Turn down the volume. Um, so yeah, this is a complete fix. Obviously, I, I had to do this glamour shot. Um, so this is the Virtua Boy fully reassembled and displaying in all its, uh, its uh, glory. I think the person who is going to get this back is going to be really happy with this. In the meanwhile, before I ship it out, I'm going to be playing a little bit more on this myself. Um, it'd be cool if you guys could comment, rate, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I've got a couple more videos that are coming up. I'm still working on the Dreamcast uh, BIOS mod. I've also got all the components in to attempt to do a VGA port on my Sega Nomad. So I think that's going to be next. And if that's going to work, that's going to be pretty cool. All right, stay tuned and thanks for watching.